or Rosalina. You know. Let's Maybe see if it works out any better for him against Keegan's Pac-Man. Not a character that we expect. Keegan, I, I don't know. know if you can hear me, but make a Twitter, please. You know, how Twitter, fitting is that it Twitter that we have make a Pac-Man in the first uh, Wi-Fi tournament? A Wait, tournament where its landscape is known for being you said Twitter, that's all. Um, yeah, so w w one thing, sorry, this was the first time I set it up on this PC, but uh, I didn't get, I didn't realize I didn't set up the winners losers thing for the overlay, so I'm gonna put that okay. ugly ass W and L in their names. Rest <laughs> <of> w. <laughs> Does Kiguman have a Twitter though? I don't know. If if people know who this Kiguman character is, by all means, share some data in the chat. Like, definitely open to to learning more about this player. Because having another Pac-Man in the the local scene is truly the stuff of nightmares. Oh yeah. I mean, hey, you know, Tri-State. You know, I'm sure Shit Stingy is just elated. You know, to see another Pac-Man in the cut. I think all, all we have is like him and C. Caleb. I'm pretty sure. So it's good. It's good to see you know another Pac-Man out there. Yeah. What would a storyline be if this ended up being like one of Sinji's disciples? So apparently, Kigoman has only entered four tournaments ever. Oh. So that's something. Hydra Hydra's saying that he's in some Wi-Fi crew, but uh, he is only entered four tournaments, so that means... Alright, well, I mean, hey, if this is your fourth appearance in a tournament, by all means, let it rock, man. You can play whatever character you want. You can and play however Death you want. Deathy is also saying that he is on the Wi-Fi world ranking. Okay. So. Alright. You know, he, he, he's familiar with it in the Wi-Fi scene, you know. <clears throat> But, but he's doing All it. All right, well, uh, yeah, known warrior to the Wi-Fi lads, but not to us, us land lovers. Can we, does the winner get, like, flown out to an actual tournament in Tri-State? Uh, or Uber they're allowed to enter, <laughs> they're allowed to enter the first, uh, the first Xeno, that's post-quarantine. Post-Rona. Post-Rona Xeno. The, the Rona free Xeno, yeah. The Rona apocalypse. You know, COVID 19. All right, though, Ray keeps it pretty even. I know he was struggling a little bit uh, in winners from what I saw against uh, Kiguman, but you know, Kigu's out here. Pac Man being a, a stellar Wi Fi character in terms of the Wi Fi meta, from what I've heard from uh, many people. But Kiguman's got the sauce. He's, he's out here. I mean, you know, we spend a lot of time goofing on Pac-Man and Sinji by extension, but we never really stop to talk about how good this character's buttons are. Yo, his buttons like, are godlike. His frame data? Ridiculous. Like, Pac-Man is legitimately an amazingly constructed character. A lot has of some of the best boxing tools. On. The punish recovery is great. He can't get spiked pretty much most of the time because the hydrant covers it. It's like, his character has a very difficult time dying uh, if you play him super duper defensively. And even his <laughs> offensive options are pretty good. Plus, by nature of the character's kit, it's really hard to figure out, like, how he's going to approach or how, what he's going to camp with. Like, Pac-Man, at his core, is a very creative character. Like, he just invites creative play, be it rushdown or zoning. Like, you know that there's going to be a mess of things on the screen, but figuring out how those things, like, interweave into Pac-Man's kit, it takes a bit to funnel it down. That being said, uh, if there's any player to take out this man, it's Ray. Ray, no stranger after ha fought, like having fought Sinji so many times, uh, he, he knows you know what to do against Pac-Man to a basic extent. Oh, I'm sure, but I feel like one of the golden rules of Pac-Man is that like no two Pac-Man plays the same. Oh, absolutely. And like I feel like we see that even on the not even just the local level, but just like the like in, within the Northeast, we've got a couple of Pac-Man that are notable, and. Like, they don't play anything alike. Ooh, the apple sniping Ray. So, Kigaman now one Ooh. game off of winning Xeno Wi Fi. Very, Yo, very close. End it? No, you better end do it, it just like that? You better do it. Yo, raise your penis men in the chat for, for Kigaman. <laughs> and if you're angry, uh, penis men, do your penis men emote, but type grr afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, good morning, or grr, you be the judge. <laughs> grr. <laughs> I wish he could come back one last time to bless up. 
Irina. I'm definitely trying to see Penis Man 10 at the end of this also, tournament. Also, shouts to me for commentating this off of Microsoft PowerPoint. Oh yeah, yeah. Big big shout outs to to Helper. Big shout out to Helper know... for setting up the PowerPoint presentation for us to commentate on. <laughs> He's got Windows <laughs> Movie Maker. He set it all up just for us. <laughs> Dude, I'm waiting for the um for the transition with the aerial font to tell me to subscribe to his. <laughs> <laughs> we need the the soundscape song we play. We need a notepad on the screen ASAP. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We need to let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> you know what would have really, really sold this presentation if we had like the 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 no hyper cam two, in, like the top center. <laughs> <laughs> really, just bring it all back. That'd be so good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Egumen starting out the gate pretty hot here for this last game. Really curious why Rice opted to stick with his Rosa. Like, it wasn't doing too bad in game one, but it seemed like he had to constantly fight back from a deficit because Pac Man's able to control the stadium too really well. I wonder how his banjo would do in this matchup. Honestly, I feel like the banjo, you know, he could play the zoning war with uh, Kiguman, and, you know, Wonder Wing would just kind of clear a lot of obstructions for him, but maybe he likes that gravity pull for reasons just like that. Getting the bell into up smash, uh, S smash, rather. You know, it, he and Ray seems very content, just like hanging back now. He he's got a slight lead, so he doesn't have to panic too too much. That being said, he's got to be wary of all Pac-Man's kill tools still, because that Apple on deck, you know, Malin could do some damage as well. Ooh, hold up, he's got Galaga loaded. He leaves him prepped and open. It said great stops to just drop it. Okay. He dropped it solo. He doesn't. Okay, though. Ray got the ledge right now. And the reaction. Great grab right there by Ray. Get him out of there. Keep him in, though. Hanging in there. Charging up his little projectiles. You know. Waiting waiting for his turn in. And he's, he's not afraid to turn up the mash when he's uh, right in Ray's face, for sure. I feel like both of these guys have opted to just, like, iron out a few of the wrinkles in their brains once they get into a good, <laughs> aggressive state. I, I think I've seen more smash attacks from Ray in this game alone than I've seen in this and the previous set. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, this is do or die, Utopian Ray. This is, yes. I'm gonna hit every part of my controller to get this W. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Uma said no water. No, no. Okay, cool. Didn't get the kill, but it did keep the damage up, kept the pressure on. And keeping even a small lead over Kigaman is really important for Ray. Just because we've seen that Kigaman is very capable of just like making this comeback. Wow, that was a very interesting recovery by Ray. Getting the, the wall tech right there. All right, though. Forward throw. Not going to do it just yet. And Kigaman has that bell on deck. Ray has to be very careful. Oh, no. no. Yeah, that was, a, <laughs> that was <laughs> actually a disaster <laughs> city. That Man was falling into the river in Lego City. <laughs> oh no. I'm lucky, but he does manage to clean it up, but is it too little too late? You know, you don't want to give Pac-Man that lead. I mean, I wouldn't quite say there's a lead right now, but being on even ground with Kigaman is not proven to be comfortable yeah. territory for it, Utopian, right? Exactly. I feel like Kigaman has been far more comfortable uh, when it's like kind of a stalemate in comparison to Ray, who is, looks like he's just fighting for his life. Yeah, especially that, now, stuck at the ledge. He's got to watch this get up. All right, he's got the key. He's going to parry it out. He said, no key. Don't need okay, it. getting the grab and up air. He's trying to hang in there. Is he going to opt to take out the hydrant? He's been ready for it, though. Yo, they got to be feeding these Wi-Fi kids like some super cereal or something. Wait, you know how it is. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, this Jesus is spaghetti Christ. fast right at the very end. Okay. Good up smash out of shield. That was a lightning fast reaction. Oh, no. He him up there. That's crazy. Oh, he pressed everything, everything. Can he absorb the hydrant, or is he just trying to get, like, a key? He, 
I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to grab oh, a Tasha. No. Oh, doesn't matter. And that's going to be, you have Hydra to be careful when you're him. chasing Pac-Man. Well, he thought he had it, but Kegelman using the little hop of the Hydra, and Kegelman going to take it over Ray and take a, 